Dear learners, in the last lesson, we covered what is demand management and the first phase in demand management that is integrating demand and supply processes. In this session, we will discuss the next three phases, namely digital integration, configuring the value systems and establishing cross-functional relationships. By the end of the lesson, we will highlight the role of supply chain and demand chain processes across the customer life cycle. Now let us move on to the phases in demand management. By recalling the meaning of demand management and the phases in demand management, we note that demand chain management aims to create value to the customers by combining the strengths of marketing and supply chain competencies. The four phases of demand chain management is as follows. In the previous lesson, we also understood the first phase of demand management from the fusion model of integrated customer life cycle, demand processes and supply processes. Now we look into the next three phases and the role of supply chain management. Phase two of demand management is managing digital integration. Managing the information flow across the demand management processes and supply processes is an important component of business processes. This provides necessary information for customer buying decisions. To meet the requirement, organizations implement systems that enable seamless information flow and knowledge enabled processes across the supply and demand chains. They ensure that the information flow is well integrated. With the advent of information technology, the organizations employ digital integration. So what is digital integration? Digital integration means linking the processes through information technology and it includes both information systems and technology. In supply and demand processes, Digital integration links the customer relationship activities, logistical functions and strategic decisions. This is done by integrating the transactional systems, management information systems, decision support systems and strategic systems and by integrating the various modules of enterprise resource planning, enterprise operations, enterprise planning and monitoring enterprise integration and administration, customer relationship management, supply chain management, and financial and operations reporting. We will learn this in detail under supply chain information systems. And now let us conclude that digital integration is an important function of demand chain and supply chain management as it enables timely information flow for carrying out the operations and management decisions, sales and customer purchase history when integrated with procurement, manufacturing, inventory and logistics can propel demand forecasting, product in improvement, customized offerings, customer specific sales promotions and mode of physical distribution. Digital integration is important to manage customer connectivity, smart procurement, order fulfillment, service delivery and supplier collaboration. In the traditional environment, each functional area namely operations, finance, human resource and marketing were viewed separately. Hence the challenge in digital integration is to identify the information in interdependency and integrate the processes. This has led to the next phase in demand management as configuring the value systems and establishing cross-functional relationships. Phase three, configuring the value systems. The strategic objective of organizations is to satisfy the customers better than the competitors. The customers prioritize quality, variety, delivery time, and after sales service at minimum cost. The organizations today meet this expectation of customers by adding value to the customers across the value chain activities of inbound logistics, operations, 
outbound logistics, marketing and after sales service. The supporting activities namely administration, finance, accounting, information technology and human resources are also tuned towards achieving competitive advantage. In short, as all the organizational functions are tuned towards adding value to the customers, the value system of demand chain and supply chain are also designed to meet the needs of the customer segments with differentiated and customized products and services. Phase 4. Managing across functional relationship. Activities of supply chain and demand chain spreads across all the functional activities across the value chain as follows. The value chain activity of new product development is linked to the demand chain processes of market analysis, segmentation, targeting, forecasting, defining value proportion and the supply chain processes of supplier network monitoring, supplier collaboration, procurement strategy and logistics. The value chain activity of operations is interrelated with demand chain processes of creation and delivery of the value propositions and supply chain processes of logistics, inventory management, material and information flow. And so is the value chain activity of marketing and sales to the demand processes of physical distribution, cross-selling and upselling, and supply chain processes of physical distribution and service offerings. The value chain activity of services is supported by the demand chain process of dispatching, customizing services and offering services and the supply chain processes of monitoring service networks, installation and maintenance service. This explanation of interdependency imposes the challenges of conflicting key performance indicators. Key performance indicator is a measurement used to evaluate the success of an activity. The success of supply chain processes is determined by the effectiveness to overcome the conflicting interest of marketing and supply chain processes. This is achieved by supply chain processes by obtaining timely information from marketing on trends in new customers or product, customer segments, promotional plans and over or under delivery and providing information on lead time, capacity and cost of supply chains. On having understood the phases in demand chain management and the role of supply chain, let us conclude the module on integrated customer life cycle, demand management and supply chain management with a conceptual model. The exercise for you at the end of the module is visit the retail outlet and map the customer life cycle, demand chain processes and supply chain processes. Thank you and welcome you all to the next session.